OpenAI just dropped a new browser called Atlas, and it puts ChatGPT directly inside your browsing experience. I've been testing it against Chrome, Safari, and Brave, and honestly, there are some real strengths and some frustrating flaws. Atlas is a Chromium-based browser made by OpenAI, like Chrome or Edge, but with ChatGPT baked directly into the interface. Instead of switching tabs, copying text, or opening multiple pages, the browser actually helps you research and summarize whatever you're looking at. On the right side, you get a ChatGPT panel that understands the page you're on. You can pin it, collapse it, or browse with it open. Basically like having an assistant beside you. All right, so I'm on my Mac Mini right now, and we are gonna be comparing both the Atlas browser and the Chrome browser. And let's see, you know, how they compare also to an extent with uh, so far. I'm going to hit enter first on the Google Chrome and then on the Atlas browser. So here we go. It was a bit interesting because the Atlas browser actually loaded up first for some reason. So, you know, Atlas browser is just a Chrome wrapper. I guess um, it doesn't have as much resources using yet or something. So this is a little bit handy, although it's a bit of a privacy concern, I guess, because you're giving ChatGPT all your sensitive data. But that is a bit of a, I guess, a privacy concern. At least what I think is going to try to add to cart. See, it's adding to cart and stuff. It's very convenient. But again, you know, do you really want ChatGPT to know all your <laughs> private information, sensitive information and all that? Lastly, privacy and security concerns. I mean, you're giving ChatGPT the permission to scour all your data, sensitive data, all your information out there. So it's a bit of a pick your poison kind of thing. Do you want more convenience with less privacy or security or do you want more more privacy and security with less convenience. Atlas feels like a glimpse of the future browsing. It is a browser that helps you think, but right now it's basically Chrome with AI sprinkled on top. I'll keep it for research, but Chrome stays as my daily driver. So if you've tested Atlas, let me know your experience, especially the bugs or broken sites.